channel. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to quickly show you five different ways to set up the Ultima Online 1998 client uh, so it looks good on modern displays at, at higher resolutions. Um, if you don't know, the UO1998 is a server that uses the original client from 1998. Um, so, as such, uh, it starts in this window and the gameplay window is 800 by 600. Pretty puny for uh, modern, you know, gaming resolutions. Uh, this is a 1440p monitor I'm on here, and it doesn't even take up a, a quarter of the screen. So, in the Discord, uh, one of the most commonly asked questions is, "Oh, I, this looks great. You know, I'm I'm excited to play, but is there any way to make the game window bigger?" And I'm going to show you how you can do that right here. So, taking a look in the Discord. Lots of great stuff in here, and uh, Exodus has actually made a post about optimizing the display settings. And uh, I'm going to go through these options, and then I'm going to show you uh, a fifth way uh, that I think is the best way for at the moment. Uh, option number one: uh, run a Windows 95 or 98 machine. And of course, uh, for the best retro experience, you're going to get your old 486 out and your CRT monitor and, and lug it out of the basement, right? Yeah, uh, not really feasible for most of us, although that is pretty cool if you have an old school setup like that. Um, alternatively, you could just get the CRT out and figure out a way to, to connect it up to your modern computer and then you'd be running it at uh, you know that perfectly scaled resolution. Um, but that's not feasible for most of us. Um, option number two is to actually just hit alt enter when you get the game up um, and that does work um, your mileage may vary when i do it um, it pops it over to my uh, primary monitor so it won't it wouldn't show up here on the recording um, but it does it does work um, but it does put it into like a four three ratio um, and i actually like having the widescreen ratio gives me more real estate on the sides to put stuff. Um, so that definitely is an option, just Alt-Tab, um, or Alt-Enter on the keyboard. Uh, option number three is to adjust your display scaling. Uh, so in Windows, in Display Settings here, you can hit the scale, and you can type numbers in here to, to scale it up. Um, you know, this works as well. Uh, you do have to uh, log out and log back in for it to work, so I'm not going to demonstrate it here, but um, that would work. Um, I've heard that there might be a little bit of input lag that applies with this. Uh, I haven't tried it myself, so I don't know. Um, another downside to this method is that it's going to scale your whole desktop and not just you know the game, so everything is going to get scaled up. Um, might might be a problem or might not. Okay, and looking at option number four here is to temporarily lower your monitor's resolution. So um, if you go into the same display menu, uh, you can change the resolution here uh, down, you know, uh, 1280 by 720 is a good place to start. Um, and I actually found uh, a list here on this website. This is a list of, of true 16 by 9 resolutions. And uh, the green ones here are ones that are divisible by eight. So uh, whatever that uh, uh, makes them special. Um, so here's your 720p and you can kind of go down and see, uh, this is kind of our range that we're looking at for, for the UO window. And I've, I've chosen this 1152 by 648. And so I actually had to use the AMD Adrenaline uh, app to add that in my options here, but so this is what I used to do. I used to rescale whenever I wanted to play, um, and it worked pretty good. Um, but there is a new way, and I'll show you that right now. Okay, so in the Discord here, uh, Sarlek has posted up all about the uh, lossless scaling app in Steam, and it's usually pretty cheap and it gives you uh, a lot more options than just the Windows desktop scaling does. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and 
uh, bring that up here. It's the one with the little ducky on it, so you know uh, which one to get. And he's got his settings in there. Basically, you're just mostly looking at this section here. Um, he's using FSR. I'll show you what that looks like real quick. Uh, let me just log into the game. And this is kind of the window that I use. This is how I like my setup. Um, I'll show you what this looks like here. Uh, one note is he has resale, uh, resize before scaling on. Now I had to turn that off to get it to work. It would just black screen uh, without with that on. So um, you can see in the settings here that the hotkey is Control Alt S. Um, so that's just what you do. You go into your window and just hit Control Alt S. And there you go, it blows it up for you. And this is what the FSR scaling looks like. Um, it's definitely, you can tell, it's got a filter kind of run through it, If you, especially if you look at the text here and uh, the items, things get kind of uh, skinny, I guess. I'm, it's kind of difficult to describe, but you can definitely see there's, there's some filtering going on here. Um, on this option, I actually prefer the nearest neighbor. You can see there's tons in here, so you can choose, you know, play with the ball. But I like the nearest neighbor one, and you can see much more chunky, and um, it basically just gives you a one-to-one -one with no filtering. Um, you know, maybe you like the the smooth finish of the FSR or, or another one. You know, it's a personal choice on that one. Um, but I'll kind of show you how to set this up real quick. Um, the important thing um, with this is to get your window perfectly sized, not on the size, and then all your stuff kind of set up the way you like it before you enable the uh, scale. So I'll show you what happens, you know, if you're a little bit off, like let's say I, I tell this, I maximize it out, which this is how big it gets. If I enable the scaling like this, it's just going to zoom into the middle. Right, we're gonna miss all of our stuff. Um, and if you had a window like this, okay, you could drag all your stuff to the middle and that would work. But um, the thing in this game is when you open bags, they tend to cascade across the entire play window. Um, so like that one opened up up there. So if I was in scaling mode, you know, you would it would be off screen. You wouldn't be able to get to it. So it's important to make sure that your window is perfectly sized. And I'll show you a few ways to, to make sure that you're sized. I'm using uh, UXtreme here. You can see the bar at the bottom uh, for the counters. And what you're looking for is just to make sure that, uh, you can see right there, it starts to, to go off at the top. So that's where the title bar is. Um, and at the bottom, you want the status bar to, to be showing. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. If I take this and just drag it down a little bit so that it's a little bit bigger, when we go to scale, we lose that status bar. All right. So you want to make sure uh, that you've got it right where you want it. See, it's almost up there. Just another pinch up. Maybe just one more pinch up. There we go, perfect. Um, so that's for like the vertical, for the horizontal. Uh, it's similar if you have it too big, getting greedy with trying to get you know your uh, real estate on the sides of the screen here. Well, look now it's starting to cut off. Not only did it cut off you know the side of this stuff, you can actually use the status bar to kind of perfectly uh, size you, so you know exactly where it's going to cut off. So we take this back like that, and let's see how we did. Pretty good, right? Uh, BP is right there, and we don't have any extra uh, like letterboxing happening on the sides. No black bars. If I make this too small, I'll just show you. See, you got big black bars on both sides. We just make it just right. That's pretty good. So then, yeah, at this point, uh, you're basically ready to go. Set your things, kind of adjust your 
your windows to how you like them. And uh, of course, every time you restart the client, you'll have to reopen your stuff, your, your paper doll, and your backpack. But at least you know it's all going to show up on screen. Um, you know, at this resolution or at this scale, you know, I've got everything like I do it. And this is where you can adjust that. You know, you'll have to adjust this number here to match kind of uh, what how big you want it to be. So if I make this, you know, say 2.2, .2, go back in. It's a bit smaller, right? But um, you can, but now I'm, you know, if I kind of drag these over to how they were before, then I've got an extra, uh, you know, a couple pixels here on the side uh, that could be game window, basically, is what I'm saying, right? Um, you know, alternatively, if I went up to 2.6. Then the game window is bigger. Great, you know, I, I want it as big as I can get it, but now I can't fit my skills on the side or my paper doll inside without starting to cover up the game window. Um, so I don't want that. So I found, at least for my resolution with my monitor, uh, 2.4 seems to be the sweet spot. And once you get it set, you just kind of drag your stuff into place where you like it, get that lined up with that side, and then this guy lined up over here, and your backpacks, second bag, status bar, and you're ready to roll. I've got space for two icons at the top here. You can actually bring this down a little bit more. There you go. And the good thing here is, um, you know, this will be saved. So if you log out and close the client and then open it back up, it will come back exactly the same size. So you don't have to mess around every time with, you know, making sure it's the right size and, and stuff. It should always uh, come back the same size. You just hit Control S and there you go. You're ready to go. Run around. Um, so currently that's uh, my favorite way to upscale uh, the game and uh, makes it much easier to play on a big 1440p monitor and so if um, the tiny display has been holding you back from trying the server you know go ahead get that scaling app and uh, try it out yourself it works really well haven't noticed any input lag or anything and like I said there's all sorts of options in here so you can try you know, try this one and see if you like the smoother look. Alright, thanks for watching.